Hey guys, Macabre Mary here, back again with another music video reaction. We're still taking a little bit of a break from Ginger, but today we've got some John Gum Passion Flower. This one was recommended to me by a friend who said that this man is a guitar god. So let's see. All right, super stoked about this one. Okay, so I can already see that this guy's talented, but the first note that he played on this guitar, and I know we're only 15 seconds in, so sorry if you don't like hearing me talk a lot. I'm probably just not the reaction channel for you. Um, there was such a rich tone coming out of his guitar just then, and it, I, I, I don't know um, if everyone feels this way when they listen to good music, uh, but you just kind of get that swell of emotional just like satisfaction when you hear just rich warm notes like that i do anyways just just wanted to share So, that is some really, like, finger-intensive work that he's doing right now. And I remember when I was trying to learn the guitar, I stopped trying to learn the guitar. And this is why I actually stopped trying to learn the guitar. Um, I probably did, like, three, four sessions of just practicing, trying to figure out, like, where notes laid on the... Uh, on the neck of the guitar and all that, um, how, how to produce the notes, how to, you know, press down enough to, you know, shorten or lengthen the string. However, my fingers were in so much pain and I, I stopped playing after a friend of mine was just like, oh yeah, no, you, you get calluses on the tips of your fingers. So then it stops hurting. And I'm just kind of like, eh. so kudos to him. That's, that's something that mm -mm, I've got bitch fingers. I'm, I'm never going to be able to do that kind of thing. So, I'm impressed not just because he's using the tuning knobs as an element in the song that he created and is now playing. Like, that's impressive. Like, I, I like the fact that he's using the tuning knobs to add something extra to his song. What's impressive, more impressive to me, is the fact that he can take the note, take it all the way out of tune, and then bring it right back to being in tune and having it be like the perfect sound. Like, like the fact that he can do that by ear is tremendous. Oh, nice. And he adds percussion like it's nothing. Okay, I hate it here. My friend didn't actually tell me that he sang. I mean, my friend didn't tell me much of anything about this song, obviously, because he wanted me to react to it. But, uh... 
holy shit, man, this dude's a fucking triple threat. He's got that quality, rich sound coming out of his guitar. He's got the rhythm to keep the beats going as he's playing the guitar and, you know, tuning it out and then tuning it back in. Like, that's, you know, let's just pretend like that's easy shit that he's doing. <laughs> just for a second, let's pretend. And then he comes in here with this fucking awesome voice. Like, what the fuck am I watching? A million times more than you are. One single drop on your risen own. Afraid of the dark. So kudos to him for being able to bring that volume down, soften that volume for these, you know, just like obviously these particular bars of the song. Um, I feel like that's not a tool that many artists, like especially guitarists, um, I don't see those kinds of bands using these music tools like softening the volume raising the volume and and doing so like immediately like from one bar to the next from a nice like deep rich sound to very mellow and soft in the next bar and i i like that he's using that as a tool in his toolbox as a musician there's a word for it i can't find. I really hate the fact that he's making this look so freaking easy. What he's doing is not easy. Like, obviously, I don't hate him. I just hate the fact that he's making it look so fucking easy because it's not. Like, none of this is fucking easy. It's not okay. <laughs> Your back is gently breaking. Stepping away from the mic to lower the volume. Get closer. Christ, that that note just like resonated throughout the entire fucking instrument just i mean they all do but that one was just so hefty wonderful it had so much weight to it and it continued on so i have to go back sorry sorry not sorry not apologizing anymore Honestly, like, I don't know why anyone is watching this. If you are, thank you so much for watching me watch this and react. Like, I, I don't know how I'm adding anything interesting 
commentary wise to what this guy is doing because what he's doing is far more interesting than anything I think I've ever done in my life. So thank you. Just like mid song, thank you for watching me watch him. Um, if you actually want to hear the song uninterrupted, please go watch his video. Don't watch mine for his music. Go watch his video. Uh, but thank you. If you're watching this, thank you. kind of a surreal quality to his voice i'm i really appreciate it and i know it's it's partly um, or partially rather i can speak i swear um it's partially the technology he's using to overlay um like a duplicate of his voice on top of it but there's like a slight pitch difference and it's it's nice it gives like a kind of surreal kind of dreamscape quality to it i don't know what you grow into You're not all in So I don't know how many of you have uh, played a guitar, played any kind of instrument before. Maybe you were in an orchestra, maybe you were in just in like a regular band, marching band, whatever. If you're a music geek, um, me too. Like, I'm sure if you have been in this situation, if you know, you know, um, that moment when you're nailing a song, like you're getting it perfect. Uh, maybe you're with a group and you just hear it all kind of coming together. Like all of you are nailing it at the same time and you just get this kind of overwhelming sensation of fuck yeah, I'm making this happen. Like there's just that like kind of inner glee, I guess, when it's, it's all going perfectly and you feel yourself. This dude is fucking feeling himself. He knows that he's fucking nailing this. <laughs> Hot damn. Like that. Holy fuck. Like, really? I, I very much appreciate my friend for recommending that I watch and react to that particular song. John Gom's Passion Flower, by the way. Go check it out if you don't want to hear me interrupting it. Um, that was beautiful. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And I can see, I understand now. I understand why my friend considers him a guitar god. Uh, I wish he'd told me that he was also a singer, because that he has a wonderful voice as well. Um, I don't know that I added anything of value to that, but if you like my reactions, thank you for coming and watching this one today. Um, if you don't like my reactions, maybe you can find a different reaction channel that you appreciate more. You know. Anyways, if, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. 
Um, if you liked what you saw here today, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell so that you can get notified each time I post something new. Remember to follow me on all my social media. If you want to see these reaction videos, any of my videos, anything that I post on YouTube at least three days in advance, please come and join me on my Patreon where you can help support me as an artist and a writer um, and a content creator. That's where I post all my stuff before it gets released to the general public. Um, so yeah. Thank you again for coming in today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please remember to stay hydrated, take your medication, and be good to yourself. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.